the log burner. Such a simple thing to have in your house and it's most definitely something everybody wants in the house in the 21st century. But the problem is, which one is the right one for you? There are just so many out there. Now to find out a bit more about the log burner or multi-fuel burner or stove, whatever you want to call them, I have come to the home of the log burner as far as I'm concerned. This is Home Firth in West Yorkshire. Now not only was it home to last of the summer wine, but behind me, nestling in the valley over there, is Dunsley Stoves, a place that has been making the best of British since 1947. The man in the suit, I'm assuming you must be Stuart. Good morning. Lovely to meet you, Tim. Nice to meet you as well. Are you a, Dun are you a Mr Dutch? Are yes, you one of them. Yes, one of them. It's a family-run business. Right. My father started in 1948. No way. Yeah, up on the... Ben Nine, just across the I've side just, of I've the just bar. been up there actually and seen the sprawling factory. Yeah. So yeah. we started it in 1948 and it is what it is today. It is, exactly. Yes, now, from yes. the size of the place, you must make them, and looking at this, I assume you make them all in house. We do, we do. We make all the steel work in here, bending, fabrication. We buy the castings in, the doors, which, right. is, which is these. Yep. We buy those in. Okay. But all this part, the fabrication part, we're doing in, in, in the factory through there. Wow. This is the favour bit. This is the bit where I ask you if we can have a tour of the factory and see how they're made. Of course you can, yeah, no problem. Really? Yes, yeah, we can show you that. Right, though. quick, before you change your mind, let's go. OK. I'll call you, all, right. all yours, all, all right? right I don't mind helping you make okay. one. So what happens in here then, Stuart? Well, this is the beginning of the production area. This is where all the steel is stocked. Yep. Of various thicknesses. So this is all mild steel? This is all sheet mild steel, steel, sheet mild steel. OK, so how do you go from a piece of steel like this to, say, for example, the back plate the of back a fire? The back right, OK. So what we do, we put a, mach a sheet of this steel in this machine behind me. OK. Flat piece of steel goes in. Yep. Fix it into position, into yep. the clamps. OK. And then it'll start the machine, it'll move around. Right. And it cuts the shapes out. So that big circular machine is different shape punches it's got and different that's... different size, different shapes. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> and how long does each one take? Four seconds. Does it really? Yeah, yeah. Once it's finished, then it moves it down. It gets it down to the clamp. Wow. And that is it? Well, this is it. This is the finished part. OK, so I can sort of recognise some of what I see here. So this piece here, once folded, will be the That'll three That'll form sides. the back of the stove. No way. Right, so oh. can we go to the folding department? Of course we can. Yes, we go through that way. OK, lovely, thanks. So that is what we've just made? That's what we've just made. Have to come off the machine down there. Right. So we're now going to form it into a U-shape. Yeah, who's this guy? That's Mark. OK. So that that bends a perfect 90 that degrees? Is, that's the first part, yes. OK. So that's formed the front and one side. Yep. So that's a there. corner of what you that's see the corner, in the stove. Yeah. Right. Now forming the other side. What does this machine cost? This Round about uh, 50,000, something like does that. It? Yeah. I yeah. can do that for you with a hammer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when your father made his own. Did he really? One. Yeah. Out of two uh, wagon uh, hydraulic rams. No way, look at that. And that there is, you can see it's the stove. That's, that's the first part. You can actually see that's the shape of your burner. Yes, that's the door. Yep. And this is the part for the air wash system. Right, so and next that forms thing, the sides. Next thing, welding. Next thing's welding and putting the parts inside. Show me the welders. Okay, through Go there. Welding. Welding now, yep. Now we've got the parts put together, it's now welding the back on. And um, once it's finished, it will be ready for shot blasting and painting. This is like an air fix model. I used to get you get the components and break them yeah, off and exactly. make a plane. Yeah. So you get the press at the top, yeah. makes the pieces, yeah. Yeah. comes down the line, gets exactly. welded. Exactly. So what's this guy called? Ashley. So uh, Ashley, Ashley, your welding's great, mate. What I like about this, actually, to tell you the truth, is they are all handmade. They're all handmade. And I would always rather have something that has been made by man or woman yes, with skill exactly. than yes, yes. than a robot. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. Like an old voice, you make it handmade and it's a lovely piece of machinery stuff. when it's yes. finished. That is faultless welding. Right, now I know the drill. Okay. It's going to be painting next. I've got the shot blasting next. Oh. And then painting. I thought I got it right. OK, shot okay. blasting. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> so these have cooled down from welding? These cooled down now, yes. These come from the welders. Well, why are these things shot blasting then? Well, they're shot blasting to take all the scaling off right. and to clean them up ready for spraying. OK, so these are going in now. One's going in, is it? One's ready for going in, yes. Okay. Two's ready for putting one in now. Right. There it is. That's the finished product. 
Thanks very much. Now, I won't touch that because I know I've got moisture on my hands and it would start rusting. So, so that's the finished product, and you can see the little. Okay, you can touch finish. it because you're the boss. It, yeah, <laughs> the fingers are clean. Right. Actually, yeah, you can feel that. You so feel it's got a slight yeah, rough edge to it. It's so well made. Mm. You can just tell you're standing beside a piece of quality engineering mm. that's been that's been the love of, of a lot of different men that's and right. women for a long yes. time. Yes. So exactly. next up, next painting. Up, painting. I got next. it right. Yes, painting. Okay. Next. Which way is that then? We go that way. Further down Further the line. Down. Come on then. So finally painting. Finally painting. Now. Right. This is the finished product really now. Look at that. And the black is just going on so He's well, an then, artist. Yes. That's an artist. So now it's been shot blasted. It, it keys the paint onto the stone. Yes, right. So he's doing the That's extremities nice, first. He's doing well. He's doing the undersides and the insides first. Yes. And working his way around yes. these two. We have a sequence to add the spray them so we don't miss anything. Can you do different colours? Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah. We got it. We can see. Yes. Oh wow! Look at this. You do loads of different colours. They are gorgeous. So you've got baby little black yes. one on the end, yes. red one, creep. Now that to me stands out as being absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, this is a new colour. This is the metallic blue. It looks like a television. That is something you want in pride of place in your yeah, house. Exactly. That's something you want on display yeah. right there. So you can keep the glass clean also. That's quite a big thing, isn't it? I mean, that's something people are really into. How do you keep the glass clean? What is there on this particular or all of your stoves that keeps the well, glass clean? The, the feature of our range of stoves is the air wash system up here. Right. And it's uh, a system where you open a slide at the top. Okay. And it draws air in across the top, and then it comes down in front of this plate. Right. And down the inside of the glass. Right. So it keeps the glass nice and clean from the smoke. So what's this handle on the side? The handle on the side is for the multi fuel riddling grate. And moving it backwards and forwards, ash falls down into the ash pan underneath. So what's the benefit of that? Because I haven't seen that before. Well, the benefit is that for smokeless fuel, yep. you can have the grate in the open position. Right. And when you want to burn logs, you put it in the closed position. OK. And that's for burning logs. But how do you riddle it? Riddle it, it just moves the grate, you see, lever backwards and forwards. Oh, that's clever. As simple as that. So you can riddle it with the door shut? Oh, definitely. Look at that yes. down there, it says home birth, Yorkshire, it's England. In England. Heat. Yeah, so that is great. Yes. I want to see one of these things on. Shame there isn't one lit. Oh, we have down there. Are you really? <laughs> oh, come on then, come on then. Right, Tim, this is the, uh, the finished product under fire. How oh, lovely and warm. That is insane, the heat kicking out of that yeah. thing, look at that. Look at the flames. Right, where's our sarnies? Exactly. Yeah. Handmade in Yorkshire. Absolutely.